Hi travelers, I'm Anne's daughter Laliko. So this is day 12. So today is still a weekend. I, whilst I am in my pyjamas, I have showered. Tomorrow is my last full day. I do have a flight onwards, so I'm going to my next isolation after this. So please consider subscribing as I post new videos every week, giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. I've really enjoyed doing this little snippet sort of every day. It's definitely given me something to do and now giving me something to edit. It has been so nice in this place. I guess my tip would be now having done so many days here, on that first day when I rearranged the furniture, I think that's been really key for me to feeling comfortable, albeit inside a room the whole time. <laughs> What I'm going to do today is try and pack up, I've started to as well, pack some things, trying to figure out going what do I still need, that blue packing cube there, that's the one packing cube I've worn of clothing, I should start putting them in there, I washed the PJs I was wearing yesterday and I've put out the clothes that I'm going to wear tomorrow, sort of how the decision came to me that I'm like why am I even going to put clothes on today because I'm definitely going to wash these pyjamas tomorrow so that they're ready for the next place they need to be like these ones are now. Well, that's not as straight as it could be, but anyway, <laughs> look at this awful weather outside. What I'm going to wear on the flight, if you haven't seen, what I wear on long-haul flights, even though this isn't long-haul, it's just within China, but I, because I've got it out and it was in my carry-on, then I'm going to wear it again, but it hasn't been worn since. I checked this backpack on the way here. What I'm hoping to do is put all of this into that. I feel like I haven't eat as, uh, eaten as much as I expected, and part of that is because I did a couple of orders. If you haven't seen those videos, please check them out. Might give you some ideas if your hotel lets you do deliveries, because that's the thing. I guess, basically, you need to plan for your hotel not being able to do deliveries. I don't know how I would have managed to get the address had I not run into somebody who volunteered to speak English at me. Just having the address was so key and I suppose almost what I would say is don't leave the foyer, like the check-in area where you pay and you know get your room assigned and all that. Don't leave it without somehow, because they gave us a piece of paper with it on, that's no good. Because I need to copy and paste it, obviously, into a website, whether it's Taobao, whether it's whatever. And I don't have a Chinese phone, so I guess somehow finding somebody in a hazmat suit that decides to speak English. Make sure in the foyer that you establish whether you can get deliveries or not and what kind they are. For example, some places it seems that you can order hot food. Like, gee, wouldn't that be amazing to be able to order like a proper meal? I don't know about you. If you haven't been to China before, maybe it's a novel experience to uh, try and eat like not great stuff. Definitely have food still in my suitcase that I have not even opened because uh, at this point I'm like, okay with again worst case scenario I cannot order anything I can't figure out and so I'm gonna have to rely on everything that I've bought with me and it's I think fine I just almost need to reassure myself. I've also been looking up at the airport because Sometimes these Starbucks, they'll have like a McDonald's or a KFC and I love, and again it's because I want the hot food, it's not necessarily because I'm like, oh my god, I'm hanging out for McDonald's. It's because I'd like a hot meal, just, and, and even if I'd eaten stuff here, it wouldn't have been hot, it really wouldn't be. If you've ever been in an isolation hotel, it's mild at best, probably cold, so I still would be wanting that, I just like a meal. <laughs> It has a little bit of everything that is at the temperature it should be at. It's on the land side, so you want to buy it before going through security because then they'll just have stuff that you're like, uh, this is nothing that I want. <laughs> and because this is possibly, probably, my only opportunity to get some form of Western meal in a month. This is also why I make these videos because Here's something that I want to know before I get to the airport. 
what is there? Definitely Ningbo Airport. The land side, there's a KFC upstairs. When you get through, there's nothing. <laughs> I guess because we've been tested so much here, I assume I'm going to have another COVID test before I leave. If it's not a full flight, I hope that they do put me... <laughs> just more reorganizing, resorting, packing up, making sure everything's ready for the next ones. I guess at this point I should really be saying what are my tips for you coming here <laughs> and surviving the two weeks. <laughs> Try not to, maybe it's framing the words, maybe it's not using words like survival and being released. I'm thinking about my release. Somebody messaged me that this week. I'm like, I'm not a prisoner. Sometimes you don't know till you're in the situation. I never would have thought that that word would have been triggering for me. But at, at that point, it's like, oh, because I, I enjoy my own company and I've been so busy because I've had to work. I think it might have been different had I not been working and I definitely would say to you, yeah, make sure you've got a project. Maybe it's a little project like this where it's like, I'm gonna do a little video every day. Because then that gives you something to do. And by the time you edit it, and if you've never done YouTube before, then it's definitely a new skill set. So that's awesome too. And it could be really helpful for other people that are going through this. I know I definitely watch a lot of videos on arriving in China and trying to find out, to just get the information, especially from a foreigner's point of view to go, how the hell do you manage that? What I guess has been really good is picking snacks that have protein in them. What I have almost craved has been a crunch, which I didn't foresee. I think having this silicone container was definitely the best idea. Really, because most of you are gonna be in here two weeks, not this two plus 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 plus, oh my gosh. <laughs> So I'd almost say to just make sure you've got enough of everything for the two weeks. Because if you're in a place that can't order, it's no good just bringing a moisturizer that's the 100 mils when that's not gonna last the two weeks. For the water, for example, yeah, they gave us 20 or 16 liters. And I just assumed they would give more because I'm like water because you can't drink the tap water here. But no, once we ran out of that, we had to buy our own. I definitely have a VPN. I, ha I love it's taken me this long. I've got a link for ExpressVPN, which I've been buying and using for years. You'll get a free month if you use the link in the description box below. Even with the VPN, the internet is horrible. Because even sometimes using WeChat, which is a local thing, the messages are not sending. <laughs> at the time that you have sent them and you are not receiving the messages at the time that they were sent. On Friday, I could I could connect to the meeting. They couldn't see me, they couldn't hear me. <laughs> I couldn't see them, I could hear them. <laughs> and that was about three meetings that that happened. One of them it worked as normal, but yeah, be prepared for that. <laughs> I did a lot of swearing on Friday. <laughs> being grateful for what I have had and then being open to receiving whatever it is that happens next. Good luck.